Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this time I'm just going to jump straight into explaining the combat a bit, uh, because I don't think I did it justice last time, I think I focused too much on trying to explain all the icons, so I will come back and explain the last bit of the icons after I give you a proper run through of what the combat is really like. So I recently, literally last night, passed the first normal area. And that was nice. And now I'm currently redoing it, I suppose, on hardship. So we're going to start from here. I'm not going to explain every single card. I'm just going to explain the reasons I have the cards that I have on based on the enemies above. Now, my cards down the bottom, my average mana is 6.4. I have health potions, mana potions, and large health potions. Like, generally speaking, I don't. I don't really use any of those potions during campaign, but you never know, so you might as well have them on. Now, I see up the top here we have reversing skeleton, skeleton archers level 5, skeleton warriors level 5, skeleton hunters level 4, and two basically legendary units, two very difficult mobs. Those two will summon skeletons. The hunter shoots from behind enemy lines and deals quite a bit of damage to people. The Skeleton Warriors and Skeleton Archers aren't that big of a deal, but enough of them will overwhelm anyone, really. Now, I have down on the bottom here, my cards are basically a spell. Burst Arrow does 3.3k damage. The reason I chose this, basically, this enemy has 7.8k health, and the legendary enemy has 2.6. So, I'm, my line of thinking is one hit hopefully the legendary enemy so I can focus fire on the elite but we'll see how things go in the battle ahead second one is an orc captain this is actually a skin at the moment down the bottom there on the left is what it originally looks like but this is basically an AoE attack he she jumps up smashes down and hits in a radius around her it's going to be very important in dealing with summoning like for example those two yellow and red units will summon units so my line of thinking is to have her deal with the summoned units by hitting them all at once, basically. Now this Death Knight is a new card I got from finishing the 5th level. And I don't know if it's good, I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to use it. It steals life when it kills things. So uh, it's got a good amount of health and a good amount of defense. So I'm going to use this as my tank unit for this round. Hopefully it goes well, I think it will. But we'll see again how it goes, because you do need a tank unit to take on large amounts of enemies, even small amounts of enemies. You're going to want a tank unit. You don't want to just have to tank with your hero, even though you can do. Now this summon copy one is amazing. You summon a card, and then this summon copy copies the card you've most recently used and allows you to summon it again at the cost of two extra mana than it originally cost. And that is absolutely worth having on your deck if you're... If you have the card, really, it's amazing. You double the units you have immediately, especially if you have, for example, skeleton force summon six skeletons. If you can get 30 mana, you can summon two sets of skeleton force without having to wait for the cooldown, which is literally 12 units on field immediately. And that could be a great advantage depending on the type of situation you're in. Next one across is a healer. This healer is going to be purely for healing the tank. That he doesn't attack, he just heals at the cost of his own health. When his health goes to zero, he dies, but all of his health transfers over to the main target of healing. Now these last ones, Royal Dust, are just airborne units. They shoot from a distance and they're cheap. I can spam them and they will do a decent bit of damage over time as I push through the level itself. So I'm going to just jump straight into it. And we're going to try and smash this. Get three stars first try. Hopefully. Alrighty. Now, there is a time limit, obviously, in the top right there. You can break stuff around the map. It's usually pots or a, a flagpole or something like that. And you, you'll either get health or mana from it. There's also purple mana chests and... Ooh, he looks cool. Purple mana chests and green health chests, along with item chests that'll be golden... Do I want two Death Knights, or do I want... You know what, I'm going to try two Death Knights and see how well we go. Alright, just going to charge straight in. 
I'm going to aim at that hunter because the hunter does quite a bit of damage in the back lines there. I'm liking the Death Knights immensely so far. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. They don't even need to be healed. Uh, is this the skeleton, legendary skeleton summoner? Don't think I'll even need to. Oh my. Alright, that got out of hand. So ideally speaking, you do want to be taking out the ranged units as fast as you can because they may not seem like much of a threat, but damn, they add up. They add up very quickly when there's three or four of them. They will do a lot of damage to any one of your units. Now I'm going to try and hit one hit this guy. Yes, absolutely demolished. I'm going to focus fire the skeleton summoner. Oh, brilliant. I think I'm going to quite successfully pass this mission. And just for a bit of extra DPS, I'm going to get these royal dusts out, double them up, get six, excellent. Yeah, now they don't do much damage by themselves, but once you are able to start massing them, they start stacking up the damage very quickly. Three death knights, I don't think I'm going to have a problem beating this level somehow. But those skeleton hunters need to go. Just gonna shoot them, shoot them. Yep, I think this was a very successful <laughs> mission here. Absolutely demolished. Alright, that was good. Alright, now I chose my cards based on the enemies that I saw. I'm going to go into the third one and see what's different. So now there's ogres, there's snipers, and the same skeleton warriors and archers. So the snipers will attack your back line and they will decimate your back line if they get a headshot. That can pretty much one hit any range unit that you can play on the field at one time. The ogre is a tank here. He's got, he's got 5,000 health. He's going to need to be dealt with quickly in order for me to push forward and take out the back line. Of course, as the hero, I'm going to be running in there and trying to take out the snipers and the archers as quickly as I can. But with that being said, I don't think I need to change my cards because it should be all right. Hopefully the sniper will just focus fire on my royal dust because they're weak as hell. They've only got 60, 70 health. They're just there to mass and do damage from the back. But they're no big loss if you do lose them. Alright. Death Knight. Should I go two Death Knights again? Yeah, why not? Going to destroy this, get some more mana. Immediately start fighting and aim at that ogre. Because that is the only threat in this little fight here. Not too much of an issue here. These Death Knights are awesome. Wow. <laughs> Gonna, oh my, that's a summoner. So things will jump up and spawn at you and try and ambush you. And it can be devastating if you only have, like, for example, these large units. They have a kind of slow attack. If, let's say, 30 units pop up, even if they could all beat them one-on-one, -on -one, they they'll still get overwhelmed from damage just from even if each unit only did 20 30 damage they'll still get overwhelmed from that and it's not really what you want get some royal dust in the air here get some more cuz a bit of extra dps is always nice again i don't think i'm going to have an issue with dealing with the first area of this hardship because it it's pretty much the start levels again, but much, just much harder with harder things to kill. Thank God for that orc. That area of effect attack is showing its worth. <laughs> Get some mana. Just going to summon another death knight and summon another death knight. Four death knights. I don't think I'm going to have an issue with this, with this map because... Obviously, again, it's the first level. I'm not. I'm gonna absolutely steamroll this place.
I'm just going to sit here and let the battle play out. The snipers don't even matter when I think I have four death knights. So, yeah, overwhelmed. But, yeah, you can see the strategy behind why I've chosen the cards that I have. They make a difference when you think about... If you just go into a battle using cards you just randomly use without looking at the enemies. Yes, you'll be alright for the first few sets of levels, maybe up to three. But you will need to start paying attention to the enemies that will be played on the field. So you can plan your cards accordingly. Now I just got the first clear reward down here for nine stars. Going to collect that. Extra money. Always good. Now I'm going to go back into Hero here and just explain the last few icons here. So package at the top right here, that is the same thing in the dark shop in shop down here, just up the top there. Simple, simple enough. Not applied here. Now this is quite interesting. You can buy a mana package that will allow you to start at max mana for 500 uh, ruby or gems. But it doesn't apply to Infinite Chaos or the PvP Battlefield, which is kind of fair enough. But the interesting part is you don't have to actually pay real money to do it. You can collect 500 gems pretty quickly. So that, that is interesting in and of itself if you want to push forward with your strongest cards through the campaign. I mean, I, I didn't do it myself because I was <laughs> saving up for skins. But, you know, that's just me. Going over to the left, we've got Season Ended. I mean, that ended yesterday. I'm not sure when the new season will start, but it's... Pretty simple, I'll explain it when it eventually restarts. Now going down into this little scroll, that is your notices for the game, notices for updates, etc, etc. This is your mail, one down below it. You will get these Loon special gifts every day and they will have cards in them and you're going to want to collect them every day. They don't stack and you have to log in in order to collect them. One down below that is actually the story. So... You, as you play the game, you play a new level, you will unlock the story, and the story segments will be stored in that little icon. Now, the last thing I want to touch on before I leave this video, because I don't really want to make these too long, overwhelm people, because these are coming out quite a bit faster, is the PvP. Now, PvP is quite interesting. You choose your cards again. And you have to attack someone who has set up a defensive amount of cards and can summon them over time. So I'll go into my defense just to explain that. You see there's seconds below the cards themselves at the bottom here. Now that basically means that when it starts, after this amount of time, these mobs will spawn and attack the enemy that is attacking you. I set up this manually because basically just wanted to it's a bit of an experiment no one's attacked me yet so I can't see how well my defense is but my line of thinking is first wave but relatively simple I put an AOE there which is this um, no mage he does area damage with a little bomb I figure if they get a mass units they'll kill them I put a hunter here because it's a good little sniper that can take out most enemies with two or three hits and I just threw in these skeleton warriors because they are decent little tanks. They won't last long, especially if the enemy summons a big unit. But it's all a, it's all a guess. The wave 2 after 55 seconds is going to be these halberd. <laughs> well, I have a skin on these ones too. But they're going to be the halberd vikings. And there's going to be two of them. They're quite strong. They can hold the enemy back for as long as I hope for as long as needed until my skeleton force summons which is three at level six warriors and three level six archers that can pump up behind it and support them but again that is just my current theory we'll see how we go if I ever get attacked but I'll give you an example of the pvp itself I will use this lineup actually yeah so I get randomly matched with an enemy, obviously. And we're going to see how hard it's going to be. I just ranked up to Bronze 2. Another free-to-player. <laughs> nice name. So Death Knight immediately. And I'm going to get multiple dusts. Yes, yeah, see. He has got an area of effect attack guy. 
starting up here. That, that's a smart move by him, because it's going to stop me from massing any units to attack him. Not a bad move. So the idea is you have to destroy that tower I just demolished. And every time you destroy the tower... Oh, I just got to kill these birds, because I don't... There we go. Destroyed. So, obviously, I think I've won here. Possibly going to summon a AoE. -er. Hopefully, I believe that's a legendary Valkyrie he's just summoned. Woo! Oh no! We have issues. I may be in danger here. Hopefully not, though. And come on, the one hit. Get out of it. Come on, one hit. Go. What are you doing? Oh, come on. No, it was so close. Ah. Oh. Now, my issue there was in the third wave, he managed to summon lots of enemies. And it just overwhelmed my death knight. And that's unfortunate. I'm going to do another battle because that was bloody embarrassing. And I'm going to try and actually win one. So, <laughs> we'll see how we go. This is another one, uh, ARPK, okay, I'm going to go immediately get a Orc and a Death Knight, summon the Rangers, ooh, he's still a Skeletal Wyvern, that's a ballsy first move, that needs to die, oh my god, get out of it. Oh, okay. Whew, that's not good. So, already my main <laughs> tank has been killed by that Skeletal Wyvern and its associates. Not the best start, really. Oh, bugger. Alright, that was not too bad. Unfortunately, now he can attack me with ice. Another bloody wyvern. Get out of it. Now, this was an interesting defense. It's just massive, mass units after mass units. Unfortunate for me. You can tell that I have bad cards here. Or maybe I'm just bad at the game, hard to say. Alright, I'm going to change my cards around and try and get a bit of a better... More ranges is what I need in order to... Kill <laughs> all these ranges and airborne units that people keep summoning. So, how do I change my cards? Ah, here we go. Okay, cards. I am going to straight up get... Skeleton Force. And I'm going to put that where the Death Knight used to be, just for lots of numbers. I'm going to keep the Orc for AoE, I'm going to keep my spell for single target DPS. I'm going to put these Halberd Ears in, but they are quite expensive on the manor. I won't be able to summon them as often as I would like. So, what I'm going to do is... Maybe I'll just get these skeleton arches. See how they go. Now these royal dust have not been too useful for me, which has been a bit depressing. I'm going to try an undead viking and see how we go from there. Just going to start the random battle and hope that I'm not bad.
you just don't know what they're going to summon. Makes it very difficult. Alright, Skeleton Force, straight up. Undead Viking, also straight up. Some more archers. Looks like he's had the same idea as me. I'm going to take out that sniper guy. Kill that, kill that. Get some more archers. To collect this mana. Now I have enough mana to shoot this. Oh, got to kill these skeletons. I think, alright, yeah, this was a little bit better. But I th he was obviously a new player as well, so. Oh, an achievement. Lovely. But yeah, I will do some more PvP off camera as well as on camera. I mean, if if this series sort of gets any interest. I do plan on playing this for a while. But we'll see. Uh, lastly, up at the top corner here, this skull is all the achievements. You're going to want to collect them as you get them. It will give you a little red icon for you to notify you that you need to collect it. The chest here is your dailies. I mentioned them the other day. You do want to do all of these. It's free cards. You know, if you get four keys, you could open the chest and get even more cards. I do recommend just doing all of them if you can, because you have a full 24 hours to do it, and you can feasibly do them in an hour, you know. But yeah, I'll leave it with that. Don't forget to subscribe. Join my clan. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. All right, have a great day.